anytime, any place. I will destroy Ludwig no matter what. Yo, 100 per bucket is 100 grand, right? Money long, brother. Yeah. Can I clarify something really quickly for everybody? So this actually corresponds to what happened in, in terms of personal news. And as soon as I uh, ended the broadcast, I called up Ludwig and I was like, what's up? Well, how was it? Because like, obviously, as much as I talk shit on camera about Ludwig, I love Lud. And so I hit him up and I was like, how was it? I'm actually quite impressed. You know, congratulations for doing it. And, um, you know, I called him out. I said, you're a scammer. You scammed your audience, you know, did that whole thing. Uh, even though he didn't, he wasn't, you know, that wasn't a NBA three point line that he was shooting from. But yeah, so I called him up. I was like, so how did this work? You know, do you have a lot of pain? Was it like, was there a lot of fatigue? What did you have issues while, while doing it? And he was like, no, I just had to, my forearms hurt a little bit, but that's it. And he's going to keep me posted. He's going to keep me posted on like um, how he feels over the next couple of days, right? But I thought to myself, and this is like, I, I'll give a shout out to Lud on this. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to do his, uh, I'm going to do the 1000 buck his challenge, right? Just like he did. What did Ludwig do? Oh shit. I forget. Many people are not invested in everything that's going on, but Ludwig yesterday made 1000 three point shots successful over the course of his entire stream. It was something that I did not think he'd be able to do. It took him seven hours. Uh, and it is truly impressive that he was able to do that. And then he challenged me, Extra Emily, Mark Phillips, Supreme Dreams from RDC, Moist Critical, and Jinxy. A lot of the shots he shot he didn't make. Yeah, no shit, dude. He was apparently shooting under 30%, which is not bad. But it took him seven hours to complete. Yeah, I said, I will end your shortly lived legacy. I think it's very impressive regardless. So um, what did I want to do? Well, I wanted to do the exact same thing. So I thought, how do we make this more fun for everybody and more involved for everybody? Well, let's raise money for it. Reddit did the math. He shot like 29.66%. So we have a charity that's ongoing, as you can see above my head, Creators for Palestine, right? And I thought to myself, we'll do this. We'll do it with a, as a fundraiser. And both Austin Ox and basically everyone in my community is so used to me whenever we do fundraisers, so used to me giving all the money that everyone misunderstood the point I was making. I said, you guys, for every $100, you guys give the fundraiser, I add another point with the goal being a thousand three pointers, which would mean a hundred thousand dollars. But everyone thought I am going to be giving $100 for every three pointer I make. No, dude. I think a lot of people forget that in the normal situations, like <laughs> when we're fundraising, it's not just me doing the fundraising. It's, it's both of us, but like, you know, I do the work and you give the money. Okay. Everyone thinks like, oh, we just come and watch. That's great. No, man, we ra you raise the funds. Your wording is terrible. I don't know how to word it, but the goal is basically a subathon. Yeah. But for buckets, exactly. Lud was the one who came up with the with the subathon idea, and then I was the one who said, "No, I don't want to do a subathon. I'd rather do a charity stream, and I'm gonna do it for Creators for Palestine, the charity." So for every 100, there's another bucket added on top of the 1,000. No, it starts with zero. It's like a marathon sponsor. The person running is doing the organizing, and people give them money to run. Exactly. X amount of money donated equals Y amount of shots required. I think you had it there. That's what I mean. It's a bucket a thon. Okay. However much money we raise means that's the amount of buckets I need to make three pointers I need to make. Okay. And because of the amount of money that I think we can raise over the course of like a six hour time frame, I mean, I'll go over a thousand. I'll go over a thousand buckets if necessary is one shot per $10. No, $100 equals one three pointer. I am currently working alongside Frogan to figure out how to facilitate the buckets but hopefully we will be able to do so. Hopefully we will be able to set up it, uh, set up a fun little outing, like a challenge stream, either tomorrow or Sunday. Okay, hundred dollar for every three and one thousand threes. Can someone do the math on that? Yes. The goal is to raise one hundred thousand dollars. Five dollar per missed shot. You are on crack cocaine. Do not put a hostel next to that crack cocaine ass take. Okay. Are you insane? Ludwig shot at a 30% uh, success rate from the three-point line. What are we doing here? You need some ball boys for sure. 
Yes, I am trying. I'm trying to bring people with me. I'm probably going to have Austin on. I want to have uh, Will on if he's down. I wanted to have Nicewig on, but he's doing a, he's unfortunately watching. Uh, he's doing a, a, a Apex tournament watch party. I'm trying to set up the same exact court that Ludwig shot at. But if we can't do that, then, um, you know, we're going to, we're going to look to set up another court. I'm not going to be shooting from the NBA three point line either. I'm going to also be shooting from the high school or, and, and regular three point line, like regular court three point line. You need some sort of punishment for missed shots. The rabbit hordes want to see you suffer, my lord. We will figure that out. Frogain is also helping produce it. So we'll see. She already has some really good ideas. She had some really good ideas that she suggested already, including potentially like trying to pick it up, like setting up certain points where there's like, you know, maybe I get blindfolded or something. Keep your shoulders square with the rim. And if you're right-handed, make sure your right foot is pointing towards the rim. Use your thigh muscles and just flick the ball. You win. I promise 50% shooting. Yeah. What do you think your average three-point percentage is? It's not great. I have no idea. And I don't think it's good. I think it might be even worse than Ludwig's. I rarely ever shoot threes. I'm a big boy. But I'm, I, I have a solid, like, I have a solid shot. Like, I have a decent shot. So I, I foresee myself getting into the groove uh, you know, an hour in and potentially cooking after that three months stream to get the 1k shots. They're calling you a layup merchant. I'm a bit of a bricklayer, but I got good stroke mechanics. I got a decent shot. That's what I'll say. Like I have a, I have the fundamentals are there. What your best shot when you streamed on the IRL court. Okay, dude, chill. I've gotten better than this. I'm like, if you lose to Lubbock, he will never let it go. It's vital that you at least beat his time. Yeah, I'm not like worried about losing to Ludwig on any kind of uh, basketball related feat. Let's be real. I have destroyed him time and time again. Half of the reason why he's like a f anime character with how much he trains in the field of basketball is specifically because I destroyed him so goddamn hard the first time we played basketball that like it literally changed. It altered the trajectory of his life. I beat him left-handed only. The first time we ever played one-on-one -on -one pickup basketball, I said, I will beat you with just my left hand, not my dominant hand. And I beat him so hard that I actually beat him like, I think it was like 7-0. I think I beat him 11-0. And that legitimately altered his, his like trajectory of his, of his life. And now he's actually pretty decent. Like he's gotten a lot better at basketball as a consequence of that. Were you spamming layups or something? It's insane. No, I'm just, no, because I, I, he is not like a, he has not played basketball. He had not played a lot of basketball before that moment. It's all about consistent mechanics. If you're going for a lot in a row, has nothing to do with skill. Any other former D1 ballers in here? Wait, what? You're much bigger than them. I'm also 6'4 and have an easy time beating. It's necessary for the transition to a socialist state that you beat Ludwig. Yeah, dude. It's because I'm, you're absolutely right. It is because I'm six foot four and know how to play basketball. And I was playing against someone who's much shorter than me who didn't know how to play basketball. I wasn't saying that it's like an impressive feat or anything. I was just talking shit and saying that me beating Ludwig so thoroughly altered his trajectory, the trajectory of his life dramatically. So now he's like actually playing and training in the realm of basketball. Be for real. Any D1 players in the chat? I don't think it's that surprising. We have literally Super Bowl winning Hasanabi heads. There's literally Hasanabi heads in here that, that have won, that have a Super Bowl ring, okay? It's not that shocking that there would be D1 basketball players in here. Yeah, Crabtree is the, uh, is the NFL uh, player that I was talking about, but what is this? Basketball discourse? That's crazy. That's like disrespectful to Lud, I'll be honest. Ludwig did his uh, video, his like 1,000 three-point shooters from the Red Bull, uh, from the Red Bull facility. And I asked him if I would be able to also use the facility. And he immediately was like, no, it's for Red Bull athletes only. To which I replied with, lol, because he was calling himself a Red Bull athlete. <laughs> but uh, he was adamant that Red Bull might not let me do it. And I was like, well, I have uh, direct contacts at Red Bull. There's Hasanabi heads that work at Red Bull that have like offered our facilities, uh, uh, offered their facilities to us before. But they said because it's the Memorial Day weekend, like a lot of corporate uh, offices, like they're not immediately anti, like they're not against it. The problem, however, is that um, they might not be able to do it in such a short turnaround. So now I'm getting hopefully Ludwig to also ask personally, where don't you have Hasanabi heads? It's like Fight Club, dude.
We're everywhere. Is Ludwig the better ball player here? No. Anytime, any place, I will destroy Ludwig in basketball, no matter what. You should end the charity stream with a 1v1 when you're spent. Oh, dude, that'd be sick. I'm very proud of this community. Then you're donating 100K. No, I'm not donating 100K. Oh my God, bro. People are way too used to me always uh, uh, donating a shit ton of money. No, I will also personally donate, but that's not. And I have donated personally. No, God damn it. No, you are donating $100 for every three pointer. I'm more mad that people don't understand like the way I try to communicate this. And it's not just you guys in this chat. Austin Ox thought so as well. And many other people that I talked to were like, wait, what? You're going to donate $100,000? I'm like, no, man. No, I'm donating buckets, okay? I'm donating three-pointers. I'm donating the three-pointers. You're do For every $100 that you add to the fund, I will be adding an additional bucket onto the list. It's just confusing because it sounds like we're donating for each three-pointer you make, but each $100 donation requires you to shoot one three-pointer. Yes. For every $100 you, the community, donate, I will make one three-pointer. That's it. Every $100 raise, I have to make another three-pointer. No limit is how you phrase it. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say no limit because what if we raise $200,000 uh, and then I have to do 2,000 buckets? Like, the point is people will literally not... People straight up won't stop donating and then I'll die on the courts. Then you shoot 2,000 buckets, big boy free Palestine? Yeah, it's just... Scary prospect. Uh, I asked Lud if he wanted to uh, 1v1 me at the end of it. And he said, you're going to be cooked. Now I'm a little worried. Did you see Lud's three-point shot? Yeah, I did. I I'll be fair to him. I mean, I, I uh, already made fun of him for it. But he's shooting from the high school three-point shot rather than the NBA three-point shot. Because like that three-point shot back there is the NBA one. That's what it is.